All right, everybody, Sean here. I'm going to take a little bit of a different direction today, uh, as you all know, or if you've been reading any of the comments I've left on uh, some of my videos. I keep talking about the uh, Android uh, Froyo being released. Uh, looks like last night they released FRF85B, which is expected to be uh, OTA, so rolled out over the air shortly. So uh, it says it's uh, going to be working on all the versions of the uh, uh, Nexus One, the T-Mobile, and also the uh, AT&T bands. So I'm going to go ahead now and do it. I do own the AT&T band, and I am currently on the older firmware. We'll just pop that up in front of the camera here in any second. Okay, I'm on build EPE. 54B and that oops, is firmware version 2.1 update 1. Alright. And I've already gone ahead and downloaded the file in question. So what they're telling us to do here is we should rename this specific file to update dot zip. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and connect the phone. Should pop up there saying USB is ready to use. I click on that. And from here, we are going to mount. Once that's done, if everything goes well, we should have drive that pops up on my Mac. There we go. I'll launch this guy here. We're just gonna drop this guy in the root. And now we got copying. <coughs> So here shows up as an 86 meg file, about 82 megs. This is the one that was downloaded from the Google servers. Alright, I'm just going to take a quick peek and there it is, update.zip. Go ahead and close this. Unmount the phone. Like this. And the phone now they tell us to turn it off. Go power off, shut down. So, from the instructions we got here, we should choose bootloader. Looks like it's the one that's already selected. I'm gonna hit the power button. So, now we're on recovery with the volume down button. And in here, power button to select. Alright, now we have the Android with the exclamation mark. And so now they're saying to press the power button and the volume button at the same time. It might take a few tries. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Can't see if you see that at the top here. Says rebooting system now applying SD zip wipe data factory wipe cache partition. So, what we're going to do is apply SD colon update dot zip. And that was done with the uh, trackball. and use the trackball to select it so now here we get an error can't open cache install from finding update package verifying update package 
and it looks like it's going through installing update never realized how shaky I was, how about we put it down like this here, see if we can get this going. sorry about that Installing file update, writing radio image. Oh, all right. <coughs> now it looks like it's off. Okay, so now we're back off to a black screen. Looks like it's rebooting. Let's just say a little bit on the nerve wracking side there. Paused a couple times, I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. But we are looking good. Alright, looks like we are logged in. And looks <laughs> looks good, looks good. Alright. Check our settings. See what build we're on. Alright, that is 2.2 right there. FRF 85B.